About three weeks ago, I had a, an arthroscopy in my knee after a football injury. Um, I got keyhole surgery and part of the cartilage was removed and obviously stitched back up. I've been given um, treatment from the physical staff. Um, I've got circuits to do, so it's very much at my own pace um, and how I feel, obviously, during the week depends on how much I do and, and to what intensity I work at. The way we work here is the patients all arrive on a Monday and we assess them, so their physiotherapy treatment is mapped out really from that point on. I was actually apprehensive when I came because I didn't know how quickly or how bad the, the treatment was going to be but I feel 100% better already. Along with the physiotherapy um, sort of treatment aimed at mobilising joints, um, re-educating muscles, just basically getting the rehabilitation started, we work very closely with the fitness instructors so that the whole package can be put together, tailor-made to each individual patient. So it means that because they're here and we're here, it's a lot more intensive than you would tend to get if you were going to your NHS physio. Usually, like anybody coming into a clinical setting, they're a bit anxious, they're stressed out, very focused on what their problems are, but they they soon learn to relax and you see such a huge improvement in not only their physical um, problems but mentally as well. There's great comradeship between the patients, the therapists and, and really just the whole team work very closely together. So there's a huge feeling of support and kind of atmosphere that really everyone wants to get better in and it happens. My role here is as supervisor of the leisure department, um, working in conjunction with the physiotherapy team to provide um, either fitness programmes, one-to-one -one or general advice for the patients. This is my second week of three. Originally I was only coming for two weeks, but I was in such a poor state when I arrived last Monday that they took pity on me and offered me a third week. When I arrived here last Monday I was like a question mark and now I'm standing straight. So. It's definitely absolutely fantastic. The police officers that come here, they, they want to get back to work, they want to get fit and healthy again, so they are very responsive to everything we do here. I mean, we are experts in our field, so they tend to listen to everything that we have to say, and they are very responsive to that, and they work hard. Sometimes they work too hard, but it's our jobs to make sure that they don't. I've been getting a lot of traction, ah. and uh, I think I'm about two inches taller than I was when I started. <laughs> Unfortunately, last year I suffered quite a bad break, a double break of my right leg. I just slipped on ice and uh, ended up having quite a, a long operation and a large amount of metal work put into my leg. I've got a degree in health and fitness. We've got Ali, who originally did gymnastics, I think, and um, he's very young and enthusiastic. We have another girl, Rachel, who works for us. She's um, more core stability based, Pilates based exercises. So we have a, a wide range of just skills to try and cover every aspect of patient's fitness. The most welcoming, um, really make you at home, um, very easy to talk to, very approachable. You're going to get your officer back in a fitter condition than he went away in, without any doubt. I mean, we know exactly how to work them, how to push them, how not to push them too hard. So you are definitely going to get a fitter, healthier and happier officer, without any doubt. I've worked in sport all my life. Um, I've got a degree in sport and leisure management, so I've always taught fitness classes. This puts the uh, cherry on the cake, yeah, it's the Rolls Royce of uh, fitness and leisure facilities, without a doubt. I injured me back 20, 25 years ago, footballing injury. I never seemed to get it right. Uh, and I came here about three months ago and had some treatment, just, just an, an hour's treatment. And I was told if possibly if I could get myself in for a week, I'd probably get sore. And I've got to admit, I've only been here two days and I feel loads better already. Yeah, I'm going to spring in my step again. <laughs> I've injured my back at work um, over 12 months ago, but I let it go on and go on and go on until I just couldn't take it anymore. So I'm here trying to sort that out. 
Oh, it's fantastic. There's absolutely everything. It, it did me an awful lot of good straight after the operation. It got me walking again. One of my staff was here last week for two weeks. She's been here three times in the last 12 months because she has got some severe problems. I would far rather her be here for two weeks than off for six months. Um, so you invest in the time here to get the time back out in the workplace, I think it's much, much better. And it's not the ball that keeps making the noises. <laughs> Keep your knees and ankles together. Pull your tummy muscles in as tight as you can. Um, there's a lot of benefit to exercising in the water. Obviously, there's uh, less impact. So we get a lot of patients here with back problems, um, knee injuries, hip problems. So um, the water supports your body, so it's less invasive compared to perhaps exercising on the land. It's fun. Um, it's your work as hard as you want, depending on what your injuries are, and you do benefit from it, sort of physically and... Um, and <laughs> no enjoyment's part of the fun of exercise and if people actually enjoy what they're doing then hopefully we can promote and encourage patients and, and officers to exercise when they go back home by perhaps joining a class at the local pool. It's always fully booked um, and everyone has quite a lot of fun and it makes everyone laugh which is great. Okay next one move up. faced on a daily basis with incidents, traumas, sights that other people wouldn't want to see once in a lifetime. Um, and there comes a point in the career, after bottling up for many years, that something has to give and something will go wrong in their health. Um, fortunately, we are now in a culture where this is recognised and it's okay to say, I need time out, I need help. I was involved in a road traffic collision uh, about 20 months ago. I got, suffered whiplash and back injuries as a result of the collision. And then as a result of the aftermath, I suffered uh, post-traumatic stress, what I saw at the scene. It's the one-to-one, -one, it's the care for the person, um, but it is a deep, deep treatment as well as being just a very pleasant way to pass an hour. I mean, the facilities, you've seen them, they speak for themselves, but the thing that stands out for me is the professionalism of the staff, the way the place is run, and the care and support that you get while you're here. And each time I've been, I've taken a dramatic step forward. We, we do use the word holistic, and the complementary therapies here just bear that out. We are part of the whole package that is on offer here. My name is Neil Williams and I'm the head nurse at Castle Bray. Um, our role is very much one of the first thing is, is safety, it's the safety of the patients, just to make sure that I mean, we see all the patients on admission, just to check that they're, they're fit enough to use the equipment, to use the pool, the jacuzzi, take part in the classes, these sorts of things. We'll look at their, you know, why are they, what is their diagnosis for coming and also is there any um, past medical history that we should be aware of. This is our clinical room, um, so in here we would do things like dressings, um, check people's cholesterol, the, the room's set up to do a lot of health motion work, we do health checks, looking at people's body mass index, their weight, you know, the family history of coronary heart disease, perhaps checking urinalysis and things like that to identify diabetes, these sorts of things. We pretty much kind of like the attitude that you leave the rank at the front door. Um, everybody's known by their first names, um, and everybody has a good life, basically. I think this is the most wonderful place. I would say it would be a fool that didn't uh, contribute toward this. Health spa with nurses and physios. <laughs>